Jeffy, I think everybody is wondering, how did we get to where we are right now? Well, Phil, there's been a lot of speculation about Stefan Diggs being unhappy in Buffalo for weeks and maybe even months now. And all along, people have denied it. But then, lo and behold, today, he's not present for the mandatory minicamp. And you heard the men on the clips there. Sean McDermott himself said he's very concerned about him not being there. And Josh Allen, the Bills quarterback, said that they're working through some issues. So clearly, something is wrong in Buffalo. But there have to be discussions, more discussions, between Stephon Diggs, Sean McDermott, the general manager, Brandon Bean, and maybe even Josh Allen about whatever issues are bothering Stephon Diggs. But clearly, something is. Yeah, and Tim, it feels like we certainly have lots more to learn about this situation. Yeah. But based off what we've heard and know so far, what's your reaction? Yeah. I mean, my initial reaction is like, before you can fix a problem, you've got to diagnose the problem yeah. and kind of figure out what it is. And so I guess if we're just going to kind of say, like hearing Josh Allen, you know, Josh Allen, it sounds like it doesn't feel like the issue is with him. Yeah. The issue does not appear to be money. And so now all of a sudden it's like, all right, well, it's with the team in some regard. And so does that mean it's with a coach? And so my reaction to it is this. When it becomes personal and there, there's uh, a difference of opinion about how a player's used or he's getting the ball, not getting the ball enough, or things like that, that happens. It's got to get worked through. You then have to regain yeah. trust mm. because the season is a marathon and you're going to run into adversity. And so that would be my biggest fear for how this, however this plays out is let's say he gets on good terms with the team. He's in a good spot with whoever he's upset with. Well, then all of a sudden you get to, you know, week 15, you don't get the ball and you lose a game and it's a problem. Well, how does that then manifest? That's where I think the concern should be for the Bills. My question is, what happened to good old-fashioned lying? Whatever happened to that? <laughs> Whatever happened to a coach <laughs> it's not the stepping up process to the anymore. microphone and lying? What happened to a quarterback stepping up to the microphone and lying? Nothing is wrong. We have no concerns. We are working through this as a team. No further comment. Mm. Whatever happened to that? And so now we're left to deal with the speculation of trying to read in between the lines. And I think what Tim said is very important. It's about trust. And Stefan Diggs has shown a little bit of displeasure with certain things that have gone on, especially at the end of seasons with the Buffalo Bills. And now that it's carried over into the offseason, into him missing time during a mandatory minicamp, it's a problem. And then when you come out and say and admit we got a problem, it's even a bigger problem. Mm. And so now it's about Sean McDermott, it's about Brandon Bean, Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs sitting together and figuring out how they can move forward in mm -hmm. the 2023 season. And here's why. Josh Allen ain't lying. Mm. He makes Stefan Diggs a better wide receiver. But what he was even more factual about is that Stefan Diggs makes him a better quarterback. He needs to be in that locker room, and they need to work this out. And listen, we know it's not money, or it doesn't seem to be money, because he signed an extension last year, and because of the acceleration, it makes trading him exceedingly difficult, if not impossible. So it doesn't appear to be a money-related issue. It's a wide receiver, so it's fair to always wonder, does he feel like he's gotten the ball enough? Does he feel like he's gotten the ball enough at certain parts of the game? Stephon Diggs, because he's so great, has always wanted the football more. Maybe it's something like that. And we've heard people in the Bills organization repeatedly deny that it has anything to do with a personal nature between Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. So we'll take them at their word for that. But there you see the most guaranteed money in the NFL for a wide receiver. Stephon Diggs right, right on there. that list. Yeah. So it can't be the money. It doesn't seem to be. So clearly something is bothering him, which has irritated the Bills, which has brought us to the spot where he's not at mandatory minicamp today after he was in attendance, but the two sides, for whatever reason, can't agree on whether or not he should be there with more discussions to be had starting Wednesday. And one of the things you heard about Josh Allen saying, you know, maybe the team could communicate better. And I usually when that stuff happens is somebody's unhappy, you leave at the end of the season, 
and then it never gets settled. Mm. You know, guys, mm-hmm. guys got to go on their way. Yep. Coaches get busy with off-season projects. And next thing you know, it's like, hey, hold on a second. We ended the season with me screaming at the top of my lungs about not getting the ball more, whatever the issue was. And the next thing you know, it was just like, yep, season ended, we're moving on. I'll catch you in June. And for a lot of guys, that just festers. You know what I mean? It just builds up. And now yeah. all of a sudden, maybe becomes a bigger issue than it even ever needed to be. You know, perhaps one of the most fascinating parts of this is what RC highlighted from the jump, which is that normally these kind of situations can be easily avoided because nobody talks about them. Instead, the Bills have kind of just invited all of this. Phil? Yeah, yeah, RC, it's the easiest Phil, thing to do. Phil, just tell a lie. Yeah, hey, they said, hey, they, they opened their doors. They welcomed us into this situation, which is so often not the playbook <laughs> that teams follow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.